Hi, it's Trevor Emden here. Just wanted to shoot a really quick video with you today to talk about rainbows. Now, rainbows, there's a strange thing. You see, if you can see a rainbow, the only reason you can see it is because you and the sun and the rain are all in some kind of alignment in that moment. Because you and I both know I guess if you're over the age of maybe, I don't know, 11, that the rainbow isn't really there. It's an optical illusion caused by, the science is roughly, the sunlight being refracted or broken up by the raindrops like a prism would to do it. And you can see the rainbow against the background of the blue sky, except the sky isn't really blue either. You see, the rainbow and the blue of the sky are all actually optical illusions created by your being in the right place at the right time and the sight organs that you have. So if you're colourblind, I imagine you can't see a rainbow or you can't see it in the same way as people with full colour vision can see it. A dog presumably certainly can't see a rainbow, since as far as I understand it, dogs don't have colour vision. So what's my point? Well, my point is, if it could still be raining, but if you were in a different location, you wouldn't see the rainbow because you wouldn't be lined up correctly with the sun behind you and therefore being able to see the rainbow in front of you, as it were. And you know that if you move around, that the rainbow will appear to move with you or disappear completely because you're no longer in the right place. Now, we've got photographs of rainbows, we use them as imagery all the time, they're part of our lives. But they're not actually out there, are they? They're a very clear example of things that we perceive just because we have the perception organs to do that. But any child will tell you that a rainbow is certainly real. We can draw them, we can photograph them. As I say, they're part of our lives. Well, my question is, what if everything is actually just really rainbows? In the sense that you see things, and I mean see in the broader sense of the term now, in other words, you understand things, you perceive things, you, you process information in a particular way, because those are the filters that you put things through. So if you, for example, believe that you're a person who regularly has not very good luck, then that's no more true than there's a rainbow out there. It's only because you're standing in that place, and if you shift the angle of your perception, you shift the place you're in that's caused you to believe whatever beliefs are standing in your way, your whole world would change. Your world view would change. Now, rainbows are rather beautiful things. The blue sky, which is, I mentioned before, actually not blue. It's not anything. There is no sky. It's not there. There's nothing blue out there. That's, again, a trick of the light caused by the way light from the sun is bent through our atmosphere and the wavelengths that our eyes pick up. Our eyes. There's no blue out there. Right? So what else isn't out there? We think that we live in this world of solid things and hard facts. The ones I would question are not whether the, the desk I'm sitting in front of is real or not. That is a difference that makes no difference to me. It might make a difference to a quantum physicist, but probably to you and me, very little difference. But the difference that really is important are the differences in your beliefs about what, you're, what you can achieve, who you are, what you're capable of, what your limits are. Those are the things I would question. What if they're just rainbows? And if you stood in a different place, you get a different perception or they would disappear completely. Rainbows are beautiful. I wouldn't want to get rid of those. But the fact that you can alter your perception just by shifting your angle a little bit, 
I think there may be something in there worth contemplating. Hope this made you think anyway, and I'll see you next time. This is Trevor Emden, aka Wizard of Wisdom, signing off.